I'm Gina, I'm a dental hygienist, and you're watching Burst TV. You're probably watching this because you're wondering how often you should have dental x-rays. I'm here to tell you as a dental professional, they are immensely helpful for us to see everything around your teeth that we just can't see by looking at your mouth. But how often do you really need to have x-rays taken? There are a few different types of x-rays that your dental office might want to take for you. There are routine bi-wing x-rays, periapical x-rays, panoramic x-rays, and CBCT or cone beam x-rays. Rest assured though, you will not need all of these every time you go in for a checkup. So why would your dentist wanna take x-rays for you in the first place? Well, if it's been at least a year since your last dental checkup, most likely x-rays will be recommended. Let me show you what I look for on my patient's x-ray. This is called a bite wing x-ray. It shows both the upper and the lower back teeth. For every one of my patients, once a year, we take two of these on each side of the mouth. That way we can see the molars and premolars. The first thing that I see in this x-ray is a third molar, aka wisdom tooth, that's stuck underneath the gums. When it looks like this, most likely it won't be able to erupt or come out of the gums fully. This situation could cause problems for the patient, like an infection in the gums. I also see tartar or calculus buildup in between the teeth on this x-ray. Calculus is a hardened form of plaque buildup on the teeth that causes bleeding and inflammation of the gums, leading to periodontal disease. It cannot be removed by just brushing and flossing alone. It actually has to be removed through a professional dental cleaning. If left untreated, gum disease can lead to larger spaces in between the teeth, teeth that have shifted out of place, and eventually it can even lead to tooth loss. In the US, half of all adults have some form of gum disease. This is really common to see, especially if I have a patient who hasn't been to the office in a while. This is an x-ray of the same patient a year later. You can see most of that buildup in between the teeth is gone, but there's one area that still has some buildup left behind. As a hygienist, this is so important for me to see as this buildup is hiding below the gum line and not visible when we're doing a clinical exam. Another type of x-ray that we take as needed is a periapical x-ray. This one only shows a few teeth at a time, but unlike a bite wing, it shows the root of the teeth. In this x-ray, we have two teeth that have abscesses or infections at the roots. This type of x-ray is often taken as part of a full mouth set of x-rays. We only take a full mouth set every three to five years or individual periapical x-rays as needed. This x-ray is a panoramic x-ray. Usually it's also taken every three to five years and it helps us see a picture of your entire mouth, including your jawbone. In this one, I can see some impacted wisdom teeth. In this one, we can see some baby teeth on their way out and being replaced by adult teeth, an adult tooth that is completely impacted, as well as wisdom teeth coming in and even a huge cyst that will have to be addressed. This one is a close-up of a panoramic x-ray that actually shows a broken jaw. Imagine you had a broken jaw and you didn't even know about it. It's insane. The fourth type of x-ray that I want to talk about that's taken in a dental office is called a CBCT scan. Instead of the two-dimensional image that regular dental x-rays show, a CBCT shows us a 3D image of your jaw. These are super important for various reasons. For example, if your dentist is trying to get detailed images of bone levels for a dental implant or to see if a tooth has a root fracture, they can be used to assess other anomalies too, like a cleft palate or dental trauma that a regular x-ray just won't show. So how often should you get x-rays? Well, the answer is depends. If it's bite wings, once a year. If you've had a history of tooth decay, restorative work done on your teeth, like fillings, crowns, root canals, implants, we as dental professionals need to monitor those to make sure that there aren't any changes. That way, we don't let a small cavity go unnoticed and let it get bigger and bigger, causing pain eventually or an infection like this one. Periapical x-rays as part of a full mouth series of x-rays every three to five years. Since taking bite wings yearly doesn't really truly give us a full picture of your mouth. Panoramic x-rays, in my office we take these every three to five years, sometimes as an alternative to full mouth series, especially if the patient still has their wisdom teeth. We also accompany these with bite wings. Although most of my patients understand the importance of taking x-rays when needed, there are a few reasons why you may not want them. It makes you gag. I think I speak for all dental pros out here. We know they're not always the most comfortable things. I get them done on myself, but we just try to get it done as fast as we can. Here's some ways you can tamp down your gag reflex next time you're at the dentist. Ask your dental professional to put some salt on your tongue. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Breathe through your nose. 
Sore throat spray. Helps numb your mouth and your throat for the amount of time that it takes to take x-rays. The other reason some people might say no to dental x-rays is the cost. But if you have dental insurance, your preventive dental x-rays are most likely covered by your insurance. And even without dental insurance, the cost of x-rays is significantly lower than the cost of having to get major restorative work like a crown or a root canal on a tooth that had a cavity go unnoticed because x-rays were not taken regularly. A small filling costs a lot less than major restorative work. The third most common reason I get from my patients wanting to decline x-rays is due to the radiation. Almost all dental offices these days use digital x-rays, which have an extremely low dose of radiation. In fact, getting yearly bite wings is about half of the radiation you get from a flight from New York to LA. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. And please, if you have any questions at all, we'd love to answer them in the comment section below. As always, if you like watching Burst TV, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our new videos. Let's talk about x-rays baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the gag things that may be. Let's talk about x-rays.